You are watching a video made for sharpresources.com, the website which brings you design and technology resources for pupils and teachers alike. We specialize in PowerPoint presentations, tutorial videos, interactive flash videos, as well as custom resources. Enjoy the video. Before we begin the two-point perspective, we should remember that perspective drawings are aiming to look as accurate as possible rather than being technically accurate themselves. As far as looking accurate is concerned, one point perspective works really well for interior spaces and for small objects. However, for landscape views of buildings, for example, two point perspective can very often look far more visually accurate. And we should see why when we look at the next part. This building has been photographed from various different angles and these different pictures are all very close to two-point perspective. We're going to look at the rules involved in two-point perspective by using this very simple example. This is actually a small section of one of the images we looked at in the last slide. What I've done is actually superimposed a perspective drawing on top of the picture just to show how close to reality two-point perspective really manages to get. To start off with, we needed a horizon with two vanishing points and we'll get rid of the final model so we can start off with the picture actually behind. As we know, because there's two-point perspective, the building will be going back both elevations. However, the front edge will now be what is accurate, so you can actually measure scale down or whatever you need to do to get that line correct. First thing we need to do is take perspective lines back to the top of the building. This is going to be our top and this is where we can draw our edge down. Then what is needed is perspective lines for the rest of the building. And then at this point, we can begin to put height lines in. This covers our first few rules. The first one being, the corner at the front of the drawing can be accurate. And rule two, which says the horizontal lines project back to one of two vanishing points. And then again, like before, varying the vanishing point positions varies the distortion of the image. We can now put some vertical lines in, finding each of the corners of the building. And if we were doing this, not if, if we were doing this without an image behind it, we would of course be reminded that vertical lines remain vertical, and the depth gets shorter as the heights get smaller. And we can see this quite clearly in the picture we are looking at. Of course, to finish this drawing. All we need to do is complete the outline and then again I'll take away all the construction so that we can see the building as it's supposed to look. It's time now to recap on two point perspective rules. The first of which is that the front edge can be drawn accurately and is a very good start to a two point perspective drawing. All horizontal lines project back to one of two vanishing points. Number three, the horizon and vanishing point height distorts the height the object is viewed at. And number four, vertical lines remain vertical and depths get smaller as the height reduces, just as with one point perspective. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out the others available at sharpresources.com.